see it is raining in New York. It has been raining all week, even since last weekend in my last vlog. <laughs> it was like raining the whole time, but it's fine. I'm getting my hair done. I couldn't, could not go to my hair appointment, so I'm gonna go inside, get my hair done, and then I will catch up with you later. brighter now and I just realized because I was looking on maps while I was in my appointment that one block away from where my hair guy does this like salon is from one block away from the flower district so as you can see basically what it is I've done a video on this before which I will put up here it's a video I did so long ago but basically the flower district is a one very long block an avenue it is 28th Street between 6th and 7th Ave. Aves. And it's all flowers. And you guys know I love flowers. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a little peruse here before I head back home. But uh, I just love things like this, so I'm really excited to see it. And fun fact, actually, the guy who, um, one of the guys that I guess works with the, the flower district contacted me a long time ago um, because it was during the pandemic and apparently the flower district was having a really hard time and things were shutting down. Um, I'm not sure if they were going to, you know, be able to keep their businesses alive through the pandemic and um, so he, he asked me to make a video and I put together all these clips um, to music and it's like a, a private video, um, I think, uh, but basically he posted it on their GoFundMe page and uh, yeah, so I did that. I've told, that was my little good deed. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna look through the flowers and try to make the most of this rainy New York City weather. district there were a couple of places that were closed but all in all it was fun just to see it I haven't been there in so long um, so that was a nice little surprise and then um, I just got back and I got I have a package that was delivered today from Monica Vinader and it's so pretty I got a necklace in this pretty packaging so full disclosure they did send this to me however um i asked i like requested it and they sent it so this is actually something that i really wanted and i've had my eye on for a long time i also do wear monica vinader jewelry anyways like um this diamond bracelet that i wear pretty much every time i'm getting ready and i'm putting jewelry on i put this bracelet on because it just works with everything it's, uh, yeah, it's like a diamond bangle, and it just, honestly, since it's so classic, just being diamonds, it goes with everything, so I wear it with a lot of outfits, and I bought this 
there is a there is a store they have a store in soho so i bought it at that store and i remember just like being so proud of my little purchase and i wear this all the time so i really like them their stuff is really good quality so yeah i'm just going to unbox this with you and uh this is their typical packaging by the way it's always this very rich purple color and then these soft pouches as well oh gosh i love this okay so inside is the Nura pearl necklace oh it's so pretty so it looks like this and as you can see it is on a gold chain it does come in three different lengths but i got the shortest one which is 17 centimeters the chain is an 18 karat gold vermeil Vermeil, um, in this in this case, they are layering 18 karat solid gold on top of sterling silver. So it makes it a more affordable option, but it's still very high quality. And of course, I went with the little pearl on the end because I felt like it was so sweet and it would go with so many outfits. I mean, just like a pearl on a gold chain, that's just such a classic piece that'll go with a lot of things. So that's why I wanted it. And yeah, I feel like this is a perfect length. It's like a cute little short length that goes with everything and you can layer it with, with other necklaces too. Yeah, I feel like it's so cute. I love the way that this one looks and just the simple pearl. It's like a perfectly spherical little pearl there and it's a freshwater pearl. So it's a natural pearl and apparently the meaning of a pearl is femininity and you guys know I love <laughs> feminine style, so this to me is just perfect. It's going to go great, be a staple in my wardrobe. I will leave the link in my description box if you want it too. But uh, yeah, that's my little pearl, so thank you kindly from Monica Vinegar. Here it is, the dress. By the way, I'm wearing my H&M sweater dress that I got two vlogs ago. I love it. I Although I'm so sorry that it, it is already sold out. It sold out so quickly. But if it comes, maybe it'll come back in stock. Sometimes they bring things back in stock. I haven't seen this one go back though, but I still love it and I've been wearing it. So yeah, it's perfect for a day like this because it's like I'm at home, but also out and it's cold and chilly and raining. So it's like I'm cozy, but it's also a dress, so it's like the perfect combination of both worlds. I'm so sorry that it sold out though, um, so I'll stop talking about it, but um, if you did get your hands on it before it sold out, it was a good one. the morning this morning today Lyle and I are going to a wedding it is for Lyle's friend from college and his soon-to-be wife I've at least known them for a couple of years now basically since I've known Lyle so I'm really excited to see them get married um, but yeah so just because there is a wedding today I'm doing all the glam this morning so obviously it's Saturday morning I woke up this morning pretty early. The first thing that I did, so I just got my hair done, but prior to prior to that, I had to take care of the hair extensions. So, um, three weeks ago or so, you know, whenever, whenever I came back from my summer vacation, I got my hair extensions taken out. So that, that was Keratin Bond's like longer hair extensions. My hair was like down to here. So I got those taken out, like removed. And then I have just been, I got my hair cut after that. And then since I've been wearing my clip-in hair extensions. So 
without the clip-in hair extensions in, my hair actually looks a lot more thin and fine than this. Although I really appreciate all you guys. You guys have left so many sweet comments, both on YouTube and Instagram, about how you like my hair like this, and I love it too. But one thing to know about it is that it, this is clip-in extensions, because without these, my hair wouldn't look full like this. Unfortunately, I have still have very, very fine thin hair. But anyways, we'll get into that into another video. So this morning, first thing I did was I woke up, I washed the clip-in hair extensions, so you do have to wash them just like you have to wash your regular hair. So I washed them, I basically like shampoo and conditioned them. I used like a, a bucket and just put the shampoo in there and then I conditioned them, let them sit for like 15 minutes with the conditioner and wash them out. And then after that, I came in here, grabbed the Dyson, and I did something really innovative, I thought, which was that I put them into the drawer, close the drawer so that they don't come out because there's the clip in there that's holding them in the drawer. And then I blow dried them as they were in the drawer. So I used both the regular blow dryer attachment and the like bristle straight brush attachment. Also another thing that I did this morning was self tanner. So I have Tan Lux, which I love. It's like my favorite self tanner and it's called the water. So when you look at the bottle, it's actually clear. It's not like this brown like liquid as most self tanners. It's just a clear product. And because of that, it doesn't smell as strong as other self tanners, which is like a huge one for me because the smell of self tanner isn't that great. This one does smell a little bit like that, I'll be honest. The one that I'm using right now that I used this morning is the medium to dark one. The one that I used to use was light to medium, and that one didn't smell as strong, so I think it's just because it's a little bit darker that maybe it smells stronger because it's got more whatever solution in it to make your skin tan. Um, I basically put that on a mitt, so it's like this, yeah, just like a black mitt. I spray the mitt with the self tanner, and then I go all over my body, on my legs, on my arms, everything else, and then I let it sit for five minutes. And to prep my skin for that, yesterday I exfoliated, shaved, and then moisturized. And then today I just took a shower and then applied the self tanner. So that's going to develop over the next like six or so hours. So that'll be great. Obviously I'm wearing a long dress, so it's not even like you're really gonna see a lot of my skin, but for my arms and stuff, I think it's just nice. Yeah, so I did that. And I will link this self, this self tanner that I use because it really is the best. It's never streaky and it's just a nice formula. So I really like it. And then I'll link that kit that I use. It comes with a mitt. And then also there's like this long one too that you use to get your back. And it's so much easier to use than like trying to get your mitt. Like you can't reach your back. It makes it so easy. And it also comes with the exfoliator too to use in the shower. That's a perfect little kit. I will link that. And then after that, lots of beauty treatments this morning. And then after that, I went to the hair salon. So I went to the hair salon yesterday to get my highlights refreshed, but today I went to get my hair curled. So I brought in my extensions, curled them for me. She was super great and I'm really happy with it. Okay, so with that all being said, that now brings us to present day time. And sorry, this keeps falling down. I have been talking to you to that, that whole time with no makeup on, not an ounce, not even mascara, nothing, nothing on my face. So um, let's fix that. I wanted to walk you guys through this because I discovered something this week that has pretty much changed my life with makeup. I saw a video of this girl that I follow. It's Jenna Reinert. It's Jenna Reinert is her Instagram. And she was giving an interview about the best makeup tip she had ever learned. And it was something from Hailey Bieber's makeup artist. And apparently it is putting on your bronzer slash contour blush and highlighter under your foundation. And that isn't really much new. I've definitely heard that before. I've tried it before. But the way that she did it is a specific technique and you need specific types of products. And it was like, I tried it this week and it was the key to making my makeup look flawless because I've had this issue where I'll put on a foundation and then I'll put on my powder bronzer over it, my powder blush and everything, and it just, something is off. It almost looks like stuck in certain areas. But doing this changed everything, so I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So her whole thing with it was, oh, you know, she likes to use this palette. It's like 
some pro palette by Makeup Forever, which I want to go buy. But I was like, before I buy that, let me see if I can do that with my products at home. So the key is that they all need to be cream-based products. So a cream bronzer, a cream blush, and a cream highlighter, and obviously a cream foundation. So the first one here is from Chanel. This is the Le Beiges line. And it is the creme, <laughs> I'm not going to read the French, it is the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. So this is shade 390 Soleil Tan Bronze. And it looks like this. It's all pretty, you know, it's like huge also. Chanel packaging. And it's just like this creamy bronze color on the inside. What I'm going to do is take a bronzing brush. It doesn't, it does not matter which one you use for this. The point is, is that you're just using a cream product. You could even do this with your hands if you need to, but I'm taking this brush from NARS because I love it for bronzing. So it's crazy. I have no foundation, no concealer, nothing on my face, and I'm just going to put bronzer straight on it. So that's the first thing that you need to do. So I'm just swishing this in here. And I'm going to apply a lot more than I would if I was applying it over the foundation. And that's because we're going to go over it later and blend it and it's going to look like there's a lot less on because it's obviously blended. But you need enough so that it at least like shows like there's something under the foundation. So really just over the cheeks, on the edges of the forehead here, and then a little bit on the nose. Okay, done. I like to do highlighter next and you guys know that I love this one also from Chanel. This is the Le Blanc. Rosy Light Drops. This is such a pretty color. Like, look at this. It's like a beautiful light pink, and it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous glow, and the packaging is like so cute. I mean, look at that, look, Chanel. So, I'll do that next, and I just do a little pump, and I love applying this with a concealer brush like this, because, I don't know, it just makes me feel like a makeup artist, or it just makes me feel a little bit fancy. Um, and it also applies so perfectly with this, so I like to do that. I am also today, since it is for a wedding and I'm going more glam with this makeup, I am going to also use the Rare Beauty highlighter. This one, what is this shade? This is like the white one. It's called Enlighten. And this is like super shiny as well, so. And this one I just blend in with my fingers. You can just see how pretty that is. Blend, 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 and then blush. I have a couple here that I like that are creamy. So obviously I love these two. I don't love the packaging, but I love these two products. These are from Nude Sticks. These are the exact two blushes that Sophia Ritchie used on her wedding day. Her makeup artist combined these two colors. It is sun-kissed pink and picante and they are so beautiful especially for the summertime just like a nice natural glow but I also love this one. This is from Fenty Beauty and it is the Cheeks Out 03 Bikini Martini and it's like a super bright pink um, versus this is like a sun-kissed pink. Let's layer both. Let's layer both. Okay so for me for cream blush I love this brush. This is from Rare Beauty. It's also really pretty, but it's super dense. Um, so I'm just going to take some of that. And just put that on the skin. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the sun-kissed pink. So you can see this color. So here's kind of the comparison here. This one's a little bit more peachy pink. Versus this one's more of like a bright Barbie pink. But I'm going to layer, so I'm going to take a look at that. And now the magic happens. So you're going to need a cream foundation. One that I really like for this, and by cream, I mean like a cream, like a cream stick. I wouldn't do this with like the Elio or anything like that. This, it just needs to blend. So what we're going to do is put this on the areas where we didn't bronze, highlight, or blush. So for example, like right there, I also have some hyperpigmentation right there. So I just like to go right over it. Um, on the chin, I like to go just like in the center of the forehead right there. And then sometimes I like to do 
a little bit on either side of the nose sometimes also because this is a triangle i like to just go down the nose like that next we take a foundation brush this one is from the sephora line this is like the sephora professional line i've had this for so long and i loved it so then you're gonna blend it in and first you're obviously gonna start with the areas where you didn't put bronzer or blush highlighter or anything like that so just blend all that in and then start by this inside and then you're just gonna kind of see how i'm just going over this these areas where the bronzer blush and highlighter are and it's just like oh my gosh going to blend it together and make everything look like it was meant to be like that oh my gosh i need to turn the camera okay so i still don't have any i don't have any mascara on so ignore that but the point is just the face so look this is the the window right here so this is just nice natural light and close up and everything it just looks so blended and it's crazy i'm like how do i never do that Sometimes I still like to put a little bit of powder on top, which is what I'm going to do, especially for a more glam event. But it's just so beautifully blended, and it's just such a nice trick. Let's do eyes. So, to start off, same as always, just a little bit of concealer on the lid to make a little face. Okay, we're really close now. So then, the next thing I'm going to use is... Can you guess which which eye palette? This one. This is the Dior Backstage Eye Palette in the Cool Tones, and I love this one. It is my favorite eye palette. It's cool tones rather than warm tones, and you just do any look with it from like just a plain, you know, daytime eye to you know bumping it up a little bit for the night. I am going to start with, as I always do, this pink right over the lid. I'm taking this just on the base of the lid. Then I'm going to take this brown in the top right, just on this really tiny, tiny little packer kind of brush. And I'm going to do that as an eyeliner on my bottom lashes. Just a little bit, because I don't like to go too dark there. Okay, next thing, in the center, this shiny purple. Yeah, so this really pretty purple shade going to take some of that all right and now here's where things are going to get a little bit crazy and turn into more nighttime look is we're going to use the opposite side of this same brush and we're going to take this dark brown in the center right here and this is where we need to really be careful with blending but i'm going to see how i'm angling it like this i'm just going to go like this boop onto the end of the eye like that a couple times I'm kind of just packing the color on and then I take a fun fluffy brush like this one and I'm going to blend it so mostly just blend it and then this one at the top just on my finger and packing the color into the inner corner of my eye as well and if I have any left, I put it on the arch of the brow. And then lastly, before curling, I do a little bit of, an eye, of a liner. So I take this liner brush on this liner color. It actually is an eyeliner in this palette. So it has the base there, which I don't use because there's like none left because um, I've worn it all down. And then there's a liner and then these are all just colors. So I think that's cool. It's like a whole eye in one little thing. And then... I just put where you would put eyeliner. Okay, great. And then obviously mascara. So I like to use this one from Chanel and then I use my eyelash curler. Okay. And uh, now I'm feeling really good about this makeup. Um, I will definitely be touching it up later before I leave. And then, only other thing that's missing with this makeup look is obviously the lipstick, which I'm going to do later because if I do it now, it'll just all come off with eating lunch and um, <laughs> everything else today. So yeah. Here is the final makeup look in the natural light as well, um, minus the lips. But yeah. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. 
All right, so I've just been chilling at home watching Gossip Girl and painting my nails. I did a manicure and a pedicure. I wanted to get my nails done, but I decided like if I get my nails done and my hair done, I was like, I'll just get my hair done. Um, so I did that. Um, but now it's time to actually put the dress on and go to the wedding. So I just pulled out of, I have a couple of these like giant garment racks in my closet where I have more of my like evening gowns. I wore this beautiful pink one that has this like floral strap on it once to a wedding and then I have this like really sleek one. But the one that I'm going to be wearing today is a blue one. So I've worn this to a wedding before um, and it's really pretty. It is Marquesa Note. I absolutely love it. I think I ordered it on Farfetch a while ago and it's just really pretty. So the wedding is black tie optional. So, you know, basically wear a floor length gown and generally black tie is um, darker colors like this. And um, yeah, I feel like I could probably wear the pink one, but um, I just feel like, I just feel like for this, that this is just the right choice. Obviously I can't wear white <laughs> and pink, sometimes people do for their bridesmaids. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna avoid all of that. And the bride really should be standing out. So I'm just gonna be in the background in my blue dress. <laughs> And I actually really like this. It's kind of one shoulder, but then it also has this little sweetheart detail. I'll show you when I put it on. And th the fabric is like a chiffon that's bunched up. And then it has this ribbon that you tie in a bow in the middle. And obviously it's floor length. I'm going to put this on and then do lipstick. Okay, here is the dress. just a pretty little blue chiffon number um and then I'm just debating like one thing is this necklace should I keep the necklace on or not this is a kind of like a tough neckline because it's like this and then you've got this it's kind of like what kind of a necklace would you wear with this besides I guess maybe a choker yeah I'm going to take it off it's very pretty but it's just this neckline that's kind of difficult. I don't think I'm going to wear, I'm not going to wear any necklace. Okay, and then just to finish up the look, I'm going to do the lipstick. So before I put on the actual shade, I always like to prime my lips with the Dior lipstick. This is in shade 000 because it is this clear one. It looks white, but it's actually clear. And it's the perfect base for lipstick because you could put on say like a lip balm you know like glossierbalm.com or the lani edge lip sleeping mask or something like that but i find that that's too much under lipstick this adds just the right amount under lipstick so that your lips are moisturized but they're not too moisturized and that it makes your lipstick slide all over the place um okay so in the lipstick that i put on on top is a red one this is the rouge dior 999 which is their most classic red color and they do it in a satin a velvet or like a velvet and satin mix this is the velvet um, because I like it best and I'm just going to throw that in my purse and we're going to head over to Brooklyn Sunday morning now it is the next morning we had the wedding last night and it was just really so much fun honestly it was so fun to see two people get married I always get emotional at weddings I always like cry at the ceremony <laughs> um, but it was so sweet and it was really fun they made it so beautiful they had these beautiful colored flowers and um, really good food and dancing and it was just so fun to like see them with their families and just like enjoying the moment and just living in it and um yeah it was really cool i just love weddings i'm a sucker <laughs> for weddings and it's fun to get dressed up too i really really love special occasions and pulling out my you know 
fancy bags and putting on, you know, a beautiful dress and heels and, you know, getting my hair and makeup done. I just, I love those things. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was really fun. Yeah, so last night we just came home and then today it's very chilly out. So I think mostly this morning staying inside. We're going to bake a pie this morning. So we're going to make a warm apple pie and we got the apples and stuff for it yesterday and then i want to go on a little adventure later today potentially um i want to try to see if i can get a makeup palette and i don't know just chilling around the city oh one thing that we saw so on our way to the wedding last night we took an uber um to brooklyn and we passed by sephoria which is like sephora with an i in it so it's by sephora and it's an event Apparently it's a two day event. I looked it up to see if they were still going on today, but there was a huge line outside and you could see like all these people lined up and then inside there were all of these different brands. So apparently it's all of the like favorite Sephora brands. Like they just put on a little booth or like a little, you know, section area and you can like interact with them and like maybe try new products. I don't know. Um, it looked really cool. I didn't realize, I had seen it on Instagram, but I didn't realize that it was right here in New York. And that's just like such a cool thing that always blows my mind about New York is I'm always like, I'll see something online and then I find out that it's right here, like, like right next door. And I'm like, oh, cool, why am I surprised? It's just, it constantly just makes me love living here. Um, it's just really, it's just a really cool feeling. So uh, yeah, that was just a little mini example of that. But uh, yeah, we're going, I'm gonna probably eat some breakfast and then we're gonna bake an apple pie this morning. <music> very lovely perfectly flavored just sweet apples and a crispy crust on the top here it is we've already <laughs> had a couple slices um, and it actually turned out really well so now I was going to go on a little adventure to make up forever because there is a palette there that I really want to try that's not sold at Sephora it's only in store um, but they are closed today, I just realized on Google Maps. So instead, I'm gonna go pop over to and other stories because they released a lot of new arrivals online that I wanna see in person. And then I might just go grocery shopping and I think I have a delivery, hopefully. Um, I'll see if, I, if it came in the mail. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for today, just a leisurely a Sunday afternoon.
back in my apartment now so and other stories was nice it wasn't bad but they didn't have what i wanted in the store because i've seen so many things online but nothing in the store there was one skirt that i really liked it's a like beige colored sequin maxi skirt with a slit on the side and they didn't have it in my size so they were all sold out then i asked them and yeah they didn't they didn't have it in store it's also all sold out online so yeah no look with that uh they also do have this pink skirt that's been like in my brain i've seen it in their ads but i tried it on and it is completely see-through so i just wanted to tell you guys that if you had your eye on this skirt too it's like complete it doesn't look like it from the pictures even in person when it's on the hanger it doesn't look like it would be see-through but when you put it on your body trust me it's totally see-through unless you know you're going for the whole like no pants trend kind of a look um i wouldn't buy it so uh, yeah that's a note on that however even though in other stories was a bust i came back and i have two big packages these are them i was not expecting them to come into the mail today so i am super excited about them let's start with this one from mango because you guys already know about this this is the coat that i was talking about in my last vlog when i was getting ready in my last vlog was talking about how there is this coat on mango that is like the perfect coat and i had to get it and they were doing a 30 percent off sale and so i got it in the 30 percent off <gasps> okay and it said that it wasn't going to ship for like 10 to 12 days or something so it came early so imagine my surprise when i came back and it was here okay this is really exciting so oh no <gasps> it has a stain on it that's not good how could that even happen look right in the front right there that is not so good okay so right away the color of this is definitely more of a cream beige color so you can even see the dress that i'm wearing right now this isn't even a white white this is a off-white more of a cream and this is even darker than that so this is definitely more of a cream than a white so comparing it to the h&m coat that we know and love from two vlogs ago that one is more of a white so yeah you can kind of just see like covering up my dress for reference um how the h&m one here is more white versus this one is more cream um and i wanted to say that because it's kind of hard to tell online when you're just looking at it and oh, it's such a bummer that there's a stain on it ah uh, well let's let's try it on and let's see maybe i can um you know see if i can return it and get a different size. although i hope i can still get the 30 percent off but um let's see anyways so all things aside stain aside i do really like this coat so i put it on and i love the belt i love let me move you down love the belt love this little detail here where it kind of comes out it's very chic very like new york lady woman walking down fifth avenue <laughs> And the back how it comes out like this it's almost like a, it reminds me of a trench coat but in a wool coat uh, fabric and yeah i don't know i just love the belt the only thing about the belt is that the belt itself is super long so when i was fastening this belt i actually had to loop the tail all the way through here and then all the way around the back and through there again because it is that long <laughs> but i guess you could probably bring that to a tailor and have them cut it or you could just do what I did and just loop it all the way around and then you're fine. But it's just kind of silly if you're like getting up from a restaurant and you're like trying to do all this stuff while everybody's trying to leave. Um, so that's my only thing with it. But um, yeah, it really is too bad about the stain. I'm going to see if I can get a replacement or maybe I can just get it out myself. It just looks like some dirt. But it is really annoying that this is a like $300 coat and it came with a stain on it. <laughs> So that is really frustrating. But anyways, besides that, it's really cute and it's definitely a keep. So um, yeah, I'll leave it linked. Okay, let's go with the other thing. Okay, so the other thing 
is from Anthropology, and Anthropology has had a lot of good new arrivals this year. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I'm not I'm not usually into their clothing. I like their, they sometimes have good shoes, but their clothing to me has always been just a little bit too, I don't know, they're too, a little too boho or some, something about it. But this is not boho. This is a pretty pink tulle skirt. And I believe they actually came out with this last year or the year before. So this is not something new. This is a piece on their website that they've had around and they brought back this year. Oh. <laughs> this is so much pink tulle-ness. This is actually so much fun. Oh, there is so much fabric in here. So there's even like stuff like this to give it some volume. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm playing dress up. Let's throw this on. You guys, I am obsessed with this. I put it on with the pink lady jacket from Amazon. I I almost called this the, this, the pink Sandro jacket because actually it does kind of look like Sandro. But this is just so much fun. I feel like, yes, you can get skirts like this on places like Amazon and very like cheaper places, but they look cheap. And this one, something about it does not look cheap. I think it's like the volum voluminous of it, um, -ness of it and the pleated part also helps. It just makes it look a little bit more like Audrey Hepburn. Oh my gosh, it's such a good spinny skirt. I love spinning. <laughs> wow, all right, let me, let me stand up on here so you can see the full length. I mean, well, you can't see my head now, but just look how fun. This would be so cute paired with a pair of heels just for like a special occasion. I feel like I'd wear this on my birthday or something. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love it. And you know what's cool about it too? The, um, the elasticated waistband is like a, this satin. It's like a satin ribbon almost, but obviously elasticated. That's like a nice little detail too. Obviously you, you can pair it with something like this, but I also feel like it's really pretty with a fitted top. There is this picture that I always have in my head. I love this outfit. It's so classic. It's this woman in a, she's going to fashion week. I forget the name of the celebrity, but she is in a pink tool skirt with this black fitted top and her bag and her shoes it just looks so feminine and just like chic nice like you know it's just cool so this skirt I feel like with a black top like that would look really good obviously a white top too there's like so many ways that you could style this but I just I'm obsessed. All right, so let's do a quick grocery haul since it is Sunday and all. It's time to get ready for the work week ahead. So first thing I got are these organic whole wheat tortillas. Sometimes I like these just to put some hummus and avocado and veggies in it just to make a little quick wrap if I'm not feeling like I want a salad <laughs> because I mostly eat salads during the week. So I did get a lot of things for that. Um, one is a rotisserie chicken because I am trying to get more protein into my meals and I like the taste of rotisserie chickens and I find that it's really easy to just kind of pull it apart, put it in your salad and it actually tastes really good. I got some cilantro just for a recipe I'm making for dinner and also I just like putting it in my salads, why not? berries so i've been doing yogurt over the past couple weeks for breakfast but i want to transition back into smoothies a little bit just because i can easily put my protein powders in them my collagen powders and then i just get those like nutrients of the fruit so i got some strawberries and then i got some blackberries so i'm going to wash those cut them and freeze them i got a, a tin of coconut milk that is for my recipe for dinner tonight i'm making a butternut squash carrot soup. It's really hearty and healthy and yummy and delicious, especially for the fall season. So of course I got a butternut squash for that. I also got some bananas for my smoothies. So I will be freezing those later. As a snack this week, since apples are in season right now, I got some Macintosh apples because that's my favorite kind of apple. And I got some cheddar cheese. So that's a really delicious little 
snack if I, you know, you know when you get hungry between lunch and dinner, like in the middle of the work day and you're like, I just need a snack. So um, yeah, I got that for as my snack this week. I got four carrots. These are just big, loose carrots. Um, I, they must be in season right now or something because I've never seen them this big, but this is for the uh, squash soup that I'm making later. I got, this is my salad lettuce for the week. So this was so fun. I usually get one of the lettuces that's, that comes in the plastic container, which is usually spinach or like a spring mix or a kale, like a baby kale, or just like get a bunch of kale. But I saw this this week and I was like, this will be fun to really switch it up. This just looks, I don't even know what this is called, but it's super curly, like crunchy looking lettuce that I'm really excited to eat for my salads this week. So um, that should hopefully be good. I feel like you gotta, you know, do things to excite yourself to eat a salad. So that'll be that for this week. I got beets, I always eat beets. Whole Foods sells these ones. They're ready to eat marinated baby beets. And these ones are in a white wine balsamic. So this is really e like easy to eat because you just cut them and eat them versus other beets are really hard to work with because the color stains your cutting board and your knife and everything else. And sometimes you have to roast them and everything. So the fact that they're already um, good to go makes it super easy and they're really healthy and good for you. I got a cucumber for my salads and avocado for either my wraps or my salads. A lemon and a lime because the dressing that I put on my salads is some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and either some lemon or some lime. I got a red pepper for the wraps and garlic. That's for tonight's recipe. Some fresh ginger. That's also for tonight's recipe. An onion for tonight. And then the last thing that I got besides this water and then also some coconut uh, water that I put in the fridge is this potato so this is a purple sweet potato although i think that it's purple i'm hoping that it's purple on the inside but it might be white because i saw another one that was cracked and it was white on the inside but i heard that these are like super packed with nutrients and really healthy for you so um if i want to roast this in the oven for dinner or something this week i will but uh yeah i got one of those so that is the grocery haul for the week i'm just going to put all of this away and then it's 5 15 right now so i'm just gonna actually start making my dinner have an early dinner and just kind of chill is my dinner this is a butternut squash carrot onion garlic with a bunch of spices soup it doesn't look like much here but it's really good this is a naomi smart recipe it's on her in instagram reels slash like igtv when that was a thing you just got to scroll all the way down but i've made this a bunch of times and i love it so on top i just have some of this so i'm going to take a little sprig of that for a garnish and then finish it off with a little bit of crushed black pepper and that is my sunday evening dinner very hearty healthy and delicious and perfect for fall all right guys so it is now the end of the weekend i'm really not doing anything interesting from here basically just washing dishes and doing laundry and uh, starting the work week tomorrow. So I hope that you've all had a good weekend, I guess, if you're watching this on Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Um, and hope you enjoyed the vlog, of course. Uh, of, of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.